everybody welcome back to talk with naya so we have some things to get into let's talk about tyga so tyga gets sued for 1.3 million in missing lamborghini and bentley payments according to the blast he has an outstanding balance on a 2013 lambo and a 2014 bentley and choice motors credit is demanding that he pay the full balance on both cars so tyga oh my goodness okay now let's get into some juicier stuff now we talked about lori harvey all right recently now lori harvey and damson made it official all right we spoke about how these two were seen leaving a restaurant separately and seemed like they were trying to hide that they were together but now they're on instagram publicly showing their affection for each other so love is in the air now however throwback photos get posted of damson and michael b jordan hanging out together more than once so do you think he broke the bro code now meek mill also has something to get off his chest by saying y'all let that girl f anybody and people were in the comments saying that he's upset that lori harvey isn't with him um, and that she's still on his wish list so do you think meek mill is jealous all right so there's a lot going on with this Lori Harvey thing. We talked about her yesterday as well. So yeah. Now let's move on to Kanye West. We spoke about Kanye West yesterday and how he's been spotted in public again after him going missing those allegations spread. Now it's out there that Kanye got married to a Yeezy architect named Bianca. He was spotted wearing a wedding band but it's unclear if the two have filed a marriage certificate to make it legally binding according to the Jasmine brand. Now, this surprise comes just two months after his divorce was finalized with Kim Kardashian. And if things aren't getting even more interesting on this Friday, Tory Lanez's dad had a lot to get off of his chest. So he went live and discussed how he and the family have forgiven Megan the Stallion. Let me play you what he said. Let me stop right here and say this, and this might come as a shock to many of you. But guess what? Both my son, myself, and others of our family have long decided that we are not going to hold any animosity against Megan Pete, a.k.a. Meg the Stall Meg Megan the Stallion. We forgave that girl long time ago. Long time ago. Because again, we know that the principle of forgiveness is important in order to cleanse one's heart, to cleanse one's soul, and to not be, you know, bound up with hatred and, 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 you know, hatred, trust me, resentment, bitterness, those things can actually cause diseases of the bones. It has been proven and it can cause sickness in your body because you're holding on to something that is negative against the real life force in your life. So whatever you do in life, no matter how hard it is, Forgive, because forgiveness is not for the other person, it's for you. It's for you. And so that's what we decided. Some will actually no doubt question, is he actually saying that Tory forgave Megan for all of what's going on? Yes, we have forgiven her. But what we will not back down from is the machine. So there is still so much going on with the story lanes and Megan the Stallion case. I know we've been talking about this for a long time, but there is just so much going on with it and I'm sure there's more to come, all right? Now let's move on to Rihanna. So Rihanna is coming, all right? She released a promo video for her Savage X Fenty V-Day line and she also released a promo video for her comeback to music for the Super Bowl performance. So are you guys ready for Riri? She is coming, all right? Now let's talk about Ice Spice. So Ice Spice has something to say to her haters. She recently said, they mad because I keep making bops. Have you guys all been liking Ice Spice's music lately? Cause she released, you know, some more songs. So how are you guys feeling about Ice Spice's music? Now, speaking of music, The Weeknd officially breaks the all time record for most monthly listeners among all artists in Spotify history with 94.73 million. So congratulations to The Weeknd. Now let's move on to Nicki Minaj. So according to Billboard, Nicki Minaj is looking for new management. Now Range Media Partners is in talk with Nicki Minaj as new management and Melissa Rutterman from that company is the front runner according to close sources. 
Even though it's gotten around for months now that the deal has already been done, Nicki Minaj's rep stated that Nicki is currently in discussions with management companies and has not yet partnered with anyone. And Melissa Rutterman also told Billboard in a statement, I have not partnered with Nicki Minaj. Now, as of last spring, Nicki Minaj was self-managing after a short time working with Sal from Sal X Co., with whom she announced she was working in September 21. Now, from 2019 to 2021, Nicki Minaj was working with Irving at Full Stop Management, and then before that was rep by G. Robertson and Cortez Bryant at Blueprint Maverick Management. Now, Melissa Rutterman joined Arrange Media Partners as a partner in the music division at the top of 2021, and she's no stranger to working with superstars, and she's had a years-long partnership with Mariah Carey, and previously worked at Rock Nation, and their relationship spans back to 2005 when Melissa handled Mariah Carey's day-to-day under the veteran Benny Medina. So we shall see what Nicki Minaj does as far as finding new management and what she has next coming for us. And that is all I have for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.